Thursday Night Beauties, welcome to my channel. And today I'm coming to you with part two of my review on Model One's Rainbow Collection Poly Gel. So this is pretty much going to be a watch me work, but I may pop in here and there to explain what I'm doing and or with my opinion on the product. Now, if you are not familiar with poly gel, I suggest you do because I absolutely love poly gel. It's great, it's easy to use opposed to acrylic. Now, a little backstory with acrylic. Uh, I do love acrylic, I do do acrylic nails, but a lot of times for some reason, my body does not agree with the monomer. I get itchy eyes, almost like a allergic reaction to the monomer. So I prefer when I can to use poly gel. It does take a little practice to use the poly gel, but eventually you get the hang of it as with anything. This is the orange poly gel. So I'm just going to show you the different colors. Now I'm just gonna dip my brush into the cap and the cap contains model one slip solution. I'm just gonna ahead and dip my brush in that and I'm gonna continue to apply the poly gel to the nail. Now I'm not sure or where I wanna go with this. I think I'm just gonna do solid colors on each of the nails, but I'm not sure. We're just gonna go through this together. I do feel like the consistency of this poly gel is really nice. It's easy, applicable, but I will say with some of the colors, I did find that having the poly gel a little more on the wet side allowed me to apply it a lot better or easier. Working with the poly gel, you wanna make sure you make it as thin as possible towards the cuticle without necessarily touching the cuticle. So you wanna get as far as in as you can and as thin as you can without necessarily touching the cuticle. Then you wanna make sure you go from sidewall to sidewall, just making sure everything evens out, check your work. And if you're happy with it, you move on to the next. Now the great thing about poly gel is also that it's easy to build up to the thickness or the arch that you would like or you prefer for your own nails. look at these gorgeous colors. The orange was gorgeous, but this blue is absolutely to die for. Like it's gorgeous. It reminds me of some kind of, I don't know, margarita drink. It's just refreshing. It's a refreshing, gorgeous blue. These colors are also very vibrant, as you can see. Very pigmented and very vibrant. Now I'm just gonna ahead and clip off a piece of the nail that I was from the actual nail bed that was hanging off. So when applying the poly gel, you just wanna use a padding motion as you see me doing here and just making sure that the side walls are clean, you know, keep dipping your brush as needed to form the nail. So you really don't wanna pull the product, you wanna more so pat the product, working from sidewall to sidewall to form the nail, keeping the sidewalls as thin as possible, as well as the cuticle, cause you don't, you don't want that to cause any lifting or it to look too bulky at the cuticle. And if you've gotten this far and you're still hanging in there with me, you haven't hit that subscribe button or turned on your post notifications, then what are you waiting for, sis? With this channel, I am not playing. I'm here to give you all the tea, whether it is hair, nails, or makeup, so it could be a one-stop shop for you. So, yeah, you might want to go ahead and keep yourself updated and hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications so you won't miss any new uploads.
supposed to apply the base coat first before applying the poly gel so it adheres better. And just adding more of the Modern One Slip Solution. Now I want to say that the red one was actually a lot easier to apply. I don't know what it was, if it was just a color, but I had so much ease when applying the red poly gel that it was like, okay, it was a breeze. Sometimes you may apply too much poly gel, which is not a problem. You can always take some off by bringing the poly gel to the edge and just taking a little bit off. I was in a hurry, so I applied too much of the poly gel trying to rush the process, but you can always go back and take some off and add more. So you might want to start with a small amount and then build up. the poly gel began to slip. So going forward with this poly gel, I'll probably was cure each one as I go along, but it wasn't too bad. I was able to reform it. If you use more slip solution, the poly gel will become more runny. Now, the good thing about working with a full nail well tip is that there's really no stress zones. So when you're applying a poly gel, it's a little better. You don't have to use as much poly gel as you would in the stress area. But if you were to use tips, like the actual tips, the half tips, you would actually apply more poly gel to the stress area. So it's not prone to breaking. And you also want to make sure you get any product that might have gotten underneath the nail. We don't want that extra work having to file it down. Make sure you cap the free edge. Now, don't worry if it's not perfect. Like I said, you can always go back in with an e-file or nail file and shape the nail to your desired look. Also, practice makes perfect. So yeah. And here I am applying just a small amount, as I said before. So this package came with different colors. I decided to do a little color blend on the tip to see how well the colors would blend together. For this process, next time I would just go ahead and apply the green, cure it, and then apply the yellow, and then go back in with the green. I was just trying to see if I can do it in like one motion or one step. It worked out okay, but I felt like it could have came out a little better. But I wasn't mad at the color blend. So once you're completely happy with the look, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of these butterflies that came with the kit with using top coat.
Now they are dry, I'm just gonna apply another coat of top coat to all the nails. This Model One's Poly Gel Kit comes with six different colors. So we have red, blue, orange, green, yellow, and the special color which changes colors is called Give Me Changes. Here we have cold water and hot water. I'm going to be dipping the color changing nail into, which is Give Me Changes. I'm gonna be dipping that nail into the hot water and we'll see what happens. Upon dipping it into the hot water, you see it changes into a milky white color. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dip that into the cold water and see that it changes back to its original color, which is a pinkish purple. Now these colors are to die for, they're perfect 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 for the summer now if you can get yourself into the nail salon or you don't want to go into the nail salon because of everything that's going on this is a perfect kit for home use okay so that concludes this video i absolutely love modern ones products i have a lot of it they're like one of my go-to's aside from others they're affordable they're easy to use and i know what can always count on their products they be quality so i want to say thank you to modern ones for sending me out this product to review i love these colors please keep them coming i can't wait to play around with these some more with other nail reviews or nail videos if you guys have purchased from modern ones please let me know how do you feel about the products down in the comments section below i'll leave all information to this product to purchase down in the description box so don't forget to check that out please like subscribe comment and share stay fabulous and be your own vision of beauty till next time bye